Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior. Uh, just wanted to share a little word with us today and uh, hope this uh, can, can encourage someone. Uh, I want to just talk with you in, in Ephesians chapter 5. It says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in the love as Christ also has loved us, and has given himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice to God as a sweet-smelling savor. I want to stop there because I don't want to make this long. I just want us to understand that we really realize and truly realize and encourage each one of us to be a be a be a follower of God as dear children. And I'm telling you something. Have you ever noticed how a child will follow its parents and mimic its parents and do as its parents? I mean, I'm talking about a little child. I'm talking about what a child is learning. He adores his parents. He, he adores uh, what they do. He will mimic what they do. If, if, if they start taking off walking across a parking lot, that child is going to follow. If that if the daddy goes somewhere, that the son, the little boy wants to go. And here is used as an illustration of how we should be willing to follow God. In other words, how to follow our Lord and Savior Jesus. It's in other words, we can't claim that we are followers of God, followers of Jesus, if we're not following Jesus. And how do we know that we're following Jesus? Well, we, we know it by His Word. In other words, the Bible says His Word will not come back void. In other words, it is His Word is a plumb line. The Bible says, study to show yourself approved, a workman that need not to be ashamed. What is truth? His word is truth. And and so this is our plumb line. This is this is the standard of all born-again believers. And it, it tells us if we're on target or we're missing the mark. And so many today are missing the mark and not even knowing it because the Bible says. My children are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And there's no excuse in this country to not have a knowledge of God because we have easily access to the Word of God. And if we have the Spirit of God and we've been born of God, then it's going to give us an automatic hunger and thirst after righteousness. And we should be digging into this Word to see if our life is coming up to the plumb is plumb and level. In other words, our life is what we're to examine. In other words, too many times we spend so much time examining someone else's life when we're not examining our own life. The Bible says study to show their self approved. Their, the other people approved. No, it doesn't say that. It says study to show our self approved as a workman that needed not to be shamed. So that's the number one thing is when we are in Christ. We want to make sure we're doing right, we're following the Lord, we're following God as dear children, and we're not murmuring and complaining and, and, and trying to find excuses of why we don't got to do what the Lord says and what He tells us to do, because what He tells us to do is for our own benefit and it's for our own safety. And, you know, you, you've got rules in your home. Every one of you that has children out there, you've got standards and you've got rules in your home. And you've got those most likely to protect your children, either spiritually and physically. In other words, if you live in a place that's close to the road, you tell your children, what? don't go playing in the road. If you live close to a place that's got a big lake, children, don't go close to that pond. Don't go close to that lake because you don't want them to drown or you don't want them to get ran over. And that's exactly what the Word of God is for us if we have ears to hear and eyes to see. And you have those if you've truly been born again. If you've truly been born again, you are hungry and you are thirsting after righteousness. And that's my encouragement. Anyway, Lord bless each one of you. Praise the Lord and give him glory for everything good in your life. And uh, pray for me. I, I, I struggle so much. I, a lot of times I, I struggle with, uh, I just get worrying and I, and I see people not walking right with God and, and it just bothered me because I want everybody to go to heaven. I want everybody to go to heaven, especially my children. I want them to go to heaven. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I think that that's what we should want. Anyway, so every parent out there, follow God as dear children. And then we hope that your children will follow you to follow God as dear children. Maranatha, Lord bless.